welcome to Crowman 17. I'm Crowman, Mr. Gold, back in action. Buddy. Joining us will be Luma. As our minion. Lovable minion. You all know about the horrific shooting of Kate Stein. We all know about it. A lot of people are pissed off about it. <sighs> From what I heard, this is just hearsay, all right? This, what was, what's happening tomorrow, the event tomorrow was supposed to take place sometime between Christmas time and um, uh, New Year's Eve. But Antifa and other protesters trashed Kate Stein's memorial or whatever, that the, the, the thing that they set up for her, which is, I mean, I don't need to tell you what that is. I'm just going to tell you that they did it. That's disgusting. Let him tell you. So, it, yeah, it got... Fucking disgusting shame. That's terrible. I mean, fucking A. They... Uh, would, I want to try to avoid cursing, but that's a one right there. That's right, we know the code. They, yeah, they trashed, they trashed the memorial, or the, the thing they had up for... Basically... Yeah, what was it, anyways? Um, so, so they, you know, they set up a picture of her face, and the people brought flowers, they lit candles, and then some, some from protesters came and they, and they crashed the thing, and then when, uh, when our guys left, when our people left, then they trashed it. They, like, I don't know exactly all the details of what they did, but from what I hear, they trashed Kate Stein's little obituary, or whatever they, they, they had. I don't know what the right word is for it. <clears throat> cool. Really, really messed up, though. I mean, that is just... It really does make me sick to my stomach, man. It almost feels like I'm getting punched in the stomach. I gotta be honest with you. It's just, it's just terrible. Amazing. Perfect. <laughs> Here goes our light. Don't cut that out. <laughs> As you can tell, um, our lighting, my lighting still sucks right now. I'm it's just working right on it. Give me. Yeah, yeah that works better. Yeah. We're, we're, we're desperate for lighting. Okay. Yeah, but, we, our light bulb blew out. <laughs> did you learn how to roll? I learned a little bit. Don't worry, guys. Okay. You're gonna get weed all over my laptop, man. I'm sorry, it just looks so, you know, good for a mess to be on, you know. To keep this within 17 minutes, but I doubt that's gonna happen. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be like, you know what, I'm bored already, and I'm already tired of seeing this. It's gonna take too long. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna drink a little bit. Ah, fuck it, I can't. Excuse me, that's a two. Two ones. We go, I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna chill for a minute. We're gonna drink some beers. We're gonna um, smoke some rule? weed. Wait, what's the rule of three? Like, what happens after the third one? Oh, so so there's a code. You gotta see the video. There's a code going around that where YouTube actually scans people's videos, and in the codes, they give you numbers for certain things you say, like curse words. There, the, you know, the F word is one, and then, you know, the B word is two, and then there's all the other words for saying things like T R U M P and saying things, other things. Wait, that, you can't say the president's name on YouTube. It'll get marked. It'll get yeah. It'll it'll get dinged. That's the most biased thing ever. Mm hmm. So yeah, it's some kind of system going on where yeah, they're they're just they're just dinging everything, anything from like curse words to violence to politics. Um, the politics. The word politics is probably a word. I probably just got a bunch of numbers for that. Yeah. Um. Very interesting video. I posted it up on my Facebook page, so check it out. I think uh, it was Justin Atheist who posted that, shared that video with me, and I, I, I reshared it onto my Facebook page. <clears throat> okay. I have an idea. We need an idea. Um, well, it's not particularly an idea we can implement right now, but maybe for the next one we can do a live stream while making a video. Yes, I, my so live stream. Active my, comments. Definitely. My, um, my live stream suspension is up after today. Oh, damn. Or not after day. I'm going to bed. Not after day. Um, this month. Excuse me. Uh, this month. Sometime this month. I think uh, the 23rd. I believe it was the 23rd. My, my, my suspension will be up. So I'll be back in live streaming. You guys will be seeing me again back in action. Man, I can't wait. Because I really love you guys' feedback. It means a lot to me. What about that, um... What about our buddy Mac? Mac is back. You guys, you guys know my, my, my neighbor... Uh, Jim Mackey from the uh, 28th of the 9th, I think it was 28th of the 9th Infantry. Uh, my my friend from Vietnam. He was a uh, he was he was infantry during Vietnam. So he was in the hospital for a while again, unfortunately. But he's back out of the hospital now after being in there for I think it was like two months. Or he was in there for a little over a month, and then he spent the last couple of weeks, last three weeks in therapy. So he's back. He's he's back at home. 
he had a full beard. I've never seen Mackie with a beard before. But now he's got the beard shaved, um, and he's doing all right. I'm going to scoop that in my jar. Yeah. Why don't you scoop all that into your jar? Here, don't worry. Make a mash. Let's see. How was that blunt? Mm -hmm. It actually looks pretty good. It's pretty good. It's my first blunt, actually. Are you serious? Yeah. Look at this. Watch someone else do it. Alex, Mr. Gold's first blunt. That's pretty... It's kind of spilling. Yeah. I didn't... I kind of rushed it. <laughs> that's how I make perfection. You just gotta rush it like, Oh, fuck, shit, shit. Kinda, yeah. That's actually... <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that with eggs, though. It'll get sick. Yeah. <laughs> Don't rush your eggs. <laughs> is a, a guy walks into a restaurant and he orders chicken tenders and he says, let me get some chicken tenders and some fries, medium rare, please. And the clerk says, but sir, raw chicken? It could kill you. And he says, I know. <laughs> medium rare. Medium rare chicken. <laughs> Of me, I've eaten that it was not cooked at all, not, not even a little bit, except for the warmth of my fingers. Bison. Buffalo. I remember one time you we were camping. Um, we were at your your patch of land in the desert, and you were cooking food, and there was barely any light. The only light was coming from the fireplace or the fire pit, and you, you handed me a piece. No, Carl handed me a piece of meat, and. Carl's like, eat this, this is cooked. So I take a bite, and it's not cooked, like, at all. <laughs> and then he's like, he, he's giving me that look like he knows he's right. And of course. Like, My brother does that. And then he, he's like, dude, this is cooked. And I'm looking at him like, no, this is not cooked. They just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, yes, it is. <laughs> Damn it, eat it. <laughs> he's trying to kill you. <laughs> but no, most of our steaks that we were eating, when I go, when I go camping, I usually stock up usually. I always stock up pretty big on venison and bison steaks. There's a great place here in San Jose, well not here in San Jose, in Las Gatas called Las Gatas Meats, and they have a lot of exotic meats like ostrich and wild boar and turkey and, and buffalo and and uh, uh, alligator and elk. It's it's freaking awesome. I love to go to that place. And they yeah, they actually sell frozen like bricks of, uh, of bison steaks, buffalo steaks, American buffalo steaks. And they're actually about between, usually between like seven and twelve dollars a piece. So they're not too bad. And I'm definitely willing to buy them. I, I recommend bison to anybody. Um, it's the best red meat you can eat. Speaking of bison, I think I left my my patties. Yes, you did. You did. Make, we make okay. I also make um, I make my own recipe of of uh, breakfast sausages. Except I make my ground bison buffalo sausages. It makes like a lot of meat though. Yeah, I do. I mean, I, I mix it. I grind it up uh, bison with pork. Uh, yeah, I make my own buffalo sausage patties. I also make buffalo stew, and I make a buffalo chili, a mean buffalo chili. What else would I do? I make buffalo burgers, but that's pretty common. We're gonna cook anything tomorrow. Or today, or time I'm here. We'll, we'll cook something later on. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Carl's got a roast. When Carl gets back, he's gonna, Carl gets off at nine thirty, about an hour, and then yeah, he's got a roast in the crock pot right now. Just so you know. So you know. Don't forget it. <laughs> Oh, wait, oh yeah, there's some, oh, wait, something big. Where's my phone? I'm so... Okay. Right there. Check this out. Okay, I've been wanting to talk about this girl for a long time, and I haven't been able to think of anything that I want to talk about to promote her. But now, I have something. Which girl is it? Yeah. Excuse me. Is it, oh, um, is it that girl that we met? At nope, the we haven't met her, but God, I would love to meet her, and one day I believe I will. Her name is the one and only, the lovely and gorgeous Joy Villa. She's running for Congress, and I hope to God you guys can support her. No, I'm gonna vote for the other guy. I'm gonna vote for the other guy. <laughs> We, we so, got two things on our list today. This and this. You know, I gotta be honest, it's like I already I honestly thought about like what would Joy Villa think is you're like I'm, I'm like I'm kind of a drunk and I'm a pothead and we did that shroom video. She would not approve 
But then she posted something on her Instagram about how she actually had not such a happy life herself when she was in Hollywood. She fell victim to a lot of the Hollywood bullshit. God damn Stop cursing. The Hollywood BS. And, um, yeah, she actually even posted this on her Instagram where she fell into a life of drugs and was just kind of living in the fast lane while she was first in Hollywood. And she even got... I, I, I don't mean to, like rehash this or whatever or, or put it out there again but she said that she even got pregnant one time while, while all this was going on all this chaos was going on and Good man I had this idea that she was I had this idea that you know she had a much better life than I did I swear and I only imagine like why would Joy Villa I mean jo Joy Villa probably imagines why would someone like me have any interest in someone like her but then reading that comment made me feel like she hasn't lived a perfect life. She understands. God, I hope she understands. God, I, I... There is only one person I look up to more than Joy Villa. Joy Villa is my biggest hero. Bob Saget. Bob Saget. No, Donald Trump, man. And then Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, Donald Trump is my biggest hero. Joy Villa, you are number two. I love you. Joy Tribe. <laughs> Blunt. It's pretty good. Not bad. So we're not going to watch anything at all. What have you been up to, man? You no, know, I have taken on bodybuilding. Oh, well, yeah, you look ripped. Yeah, can you see? I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's me like fucking... Ooh, I said a bad word. Um, That's three ones. Or maybe four right now. I think we're on eight now. Jeez. Whatever. Um, girl I was gonna say. Never mind. I'm lit. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. I think, just so you know, I'm pretty sure we have already been pretty clear about the fact that we're trolls. We don't wave this flag for nothing. We've proudly admitted it. Yeah. <coughs> Just F Y. I am. Yeah. Just F Y. Anyways. Where'd you get this? <laughs> you like it? Nah, I hate it. <laughs> My buddy, the guy I work out with, he, his brother is a farmer. Oh, yeah? Up in Lion Country? <laughs> I don't work farms. Oh. <clears throat> so, yeah, he gets weed like every day. Every day. Okay. By the buttloads. By the buttloads. Yeah. By the buttloads. He sneaks it in across the border by the buttloads. He's asking me what I'm doing. What am I doing? I'll tell you what I'm doing. <laughs> Daniel, he wants to know what I'm doing. He wants to know what I'm doing right now at 817. <clears throat> now I'm leaving this in the video too. know. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm in the middle of a video, period, and now you're in it. Who <laughs> says about that? <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna go for. Oh man, this is gonna be a paradox. Two more minutes, and then we'll wrap it up. If you're just uh, checking this out, oh, I'm not even doing a live streaming. Dude, why don't we just like wait for him to finish? finish. Like, okay, okay, yeah, we'll wait, we'll wait for him to respond and see what he says. Dude, this could be a but, fun um, paradox. Like he's gonna listen to yeah. this again and be like, "There I am." Snap, <laughs> Crow is the man, y'all. <laughs> yeah, check out Daniel's channel. He's uh, he does the skate the skate videos. Uh, Cold Gravy one one two two three three. Give him a like. Give him a subscribe. Also check out my stuff if you like. Uh, if you're a fan of my stuff, just be sure to support me on Patreon, Crowman17, and like my fan page, Crowman17 at Facebook.com. And um, 
Instagram.com. If you like, if you check out my pictures. I post a lot of cool stuff, and I come up with I'm starting to come up with my own memes. That's the only one that's different. Chroman underscore seventeen. <clears throat> Don't forget, Stalin Squad meme regime. Yeah, Stalin Squad Mark Three the meme regime. Oh shit. Oh, he's coming on. Daniel, video chatting. Uh, What's up? Oh man. Are you live? No, I'm not live, but I'm in the middle of a video and I'm dumb. I was doing, I was supposed to be, we were supposed to be doing something else. Dude, I didn't think this would actually happen. I was thinking about actually <laughs> calling you. So basically, we were supposed to be making a video about somebody's video that they made about me, but then they end up taking the video down, so. Dude, you were about to end the video, and I was like, wait, let's... I wasn't going to end it yet, no, I was just going to give a promotion real quick. No, 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 you were about to end it, and then I was like, dude, we should, we should wait for him to... Respond? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows what he might do. And this oh, makes it worth it. I fucking read your mm. mind, Alex Gold. Um, no, I read your mind. <laughs> Cheers to that. Oh, yeah, man. we're in between a fern. That's all in the future, dude. <laughs> He's gonna call and watch. <laughs> so, dude, I have lights for you. I need it so bad. How is this lighting right now? I, I mean, we basically. So I took the sh the shade off from my my nightstand. I got the regular little light I got up here as a just whatever, and then I lit a candle over there, and then I got the TV on over there, and I got the fish tank on over there, and this is what I've got. And then this is lit too. Both of us are lit. I rolled my first blunt on camera. You did a good job, actually. It's not too bad. It was pretty damn good. It was a fat one, too. Uh, what, tell us about the uh, thing tomorrow. Yeah, <clears throat> so, yeah, we're gonna we're meeting from what I hear around Powell Street. And then that's gonna be at 2 o'clock. No, not 2 o'clock, at 12 o'clock. 12:30, and as soon as the group gets, you know, uh, big enough or whatever, then we're gonna walk towards uh, 14th Street. Uh, not 14th Street, uh, uh, Pier 14, and then um, so both the timings on the Facebook page are kind of iffy. Uh, to be honest, I'm not exactly sure how the whole thing is gonna play out and uh, what is gonna happen when, and or even what route we're gonna take to get there, or if we're just gonna go straight there. But um, it kind of sounds like what I, what the feeling I get is that we're, it's going to be from, it's going to be uh, from Powell Street about at 12:30, and we're going to walk from at 12:30 to Pier 14, and then we're going to basically spend the rest of the afternoon there. And there's going to be some speeches and whatnot. But I'm seeing things on Facebook and Instagram of people, of uh, signs. People are already putting out signs saying like. Uh, come out and stand against them and stand against the, the, the fascists and whatnot and against the, the Trump regime or something like that. I, I mean, I might, I might be misquoting, but yeah. Um, I just saw that today. So I don't know if people are actually going to come out and try to stop us. We're going to see. I am very curious to see what exactly is going to happen, what the difference is going to be uh, now that Ed Lee is deceased. Like, I, I don't know. That I, 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 that's what I'm wondering about. Yeah, so sure. are people? I'm sure people. Are, I'm sure there's going to be people out there. But like, how is the situation going to be handled by the city? Both the people who run the city and the people who live in the city. Now that Mayor Ed Lee's dead. What's that? You got to break it up. I can't really hear you. I might lose you. I think I'm about to lose him. You lost him.
do you feel so far? Tell us. Pretty quiet. Yeah, actually kind of is. Go hate! Go Just 
Good to see you again. She knows me.
You know, I can name them all right now. Alex Leanna, Luis Gongora, Pat, Amarco Perez Lopez, uh, Jessica Nelson Williams, and her baby. She was pregnant. And then now the most recent, Icky. So, you know, when people say, let's support Ed Lee, that's just like a slap in the face. Like, that dude's coming like, he's a trainer. Like, uh-uh, we don't want him here. So I'm just going to open it up right now. Uh, so good. I just want to thank you to all the supporters who came out to um, protest and have a counter protest. Get me, I'll get you, boy. These people who don't want the immigrants here. And um, let me just open it up now. So let us be clear this is not about immigrants, this is about ignorance, this is about racism, this is a, about the small minded fear that exists in the brain of a white supremacist who's weak, who has been brainwashed by conspiracy theories and fear. We cannot be defended. We cannot be defined simply by our responses to that disease. San Franciscans and Californians are de defined best by what we stand for, not by what we stand against. And that's why we must turn to our friends, immigrants and otherwise, and make sure that they know that we don't only stand for them, but we will do what we can to fight and protect their rights. We must stand taller than any building in the in the far-reaching skies of this city, taller than any hill that gives us the perspective to truly see what is before us and stronger than any foundation that, with the right shame of this earth, leads us to crumble. We are here for immigrants, undocumented or otherwise, because we see them, we love them, and they see us right now. They see us responding or not to the fastest we hope to threaten them. And what we do matters. Can you imagine a place in well, which you felt as if you didn't belong, as if people, even if they didn't say that ver verbatim, verbatim suggested that you didn't belong? Well, too often the lack of senses of belonging and what we feel in San Francisco. San Francisco, we must be back. Our city faces our city faces unprecedented attacks, displacing our most valuable and vulnerable people. Awful the economic horrors that we want to fill this place. So we're pretty much documenting what they're doing. We always, but is there silence and lack of action as we push out while they do not deliver it? So if you truly stand for immigrants, undocumented and otherwise, then you will stand taller than, than the buildings from which corporations want to profit. Buildings and concrete, buildings and, buildings and concrete, buildings and concrete should not fill or be more valuable than our lives. Truly standing for immigrants means showing up, learning something, meeting immigrants, knowing who is silent, and playing your part to shape the silence in our community. So I'm going to introduce the next speaker. She's a um, she's a young high school student um, based out of Oakland. Her name is Sophia. I'm going to hand the mic over to her now. On you, Alex. That is so wrong. Shame. Shame. Um, Shame. We need everybody has a voice in their community, and everybody needs to empower black and brown people. All people um, need, need to be empowered. Okay. Need to be empowered. And their voice needs to be heard. People go through hell to get to this country because they want to follow their dreams of having a better life. They're fleeing violence. They're fleeing all these things that are happening. Yes, Estados Unidos, Unidos, se grande otra vez. Jamás será vencido. El pueblo 
since Chrissy Field. Yep. That was crazy though. The, the, the canceled rally that wasn't canceled. Awesome. No to fascism. <laughs> Just say, save it for posterity. Yeah. That's what I always do. You packing in there? Speaker, nothing yet. I was uh, a liquor store up the street. I, I was in a rush to get you there. Kidding? <laughs> wow. I'm shocked. So, I got a little bit. Yeah. We have to outnumber them, and that's what we're doing here today. So thanks, everybody, for coming out. There's a dumbass racist over there. He's got a sign. And it says, You dumbass racist. against terrorists is an American. But in America, the biggest terrorists are these motherfuckers. Worst. <laughs> if the 
40% of illegal, up, uh, how about the 40% of homicides are done by illegal aliens? Where is the justice for the 40%? Don't you think that 40% of those homicides should be alive? What about all the human trafficking? What about the hundreds of thousands of people and children who are minors who have been human trafficked across the fucking border? If you look at Germany, if you look at Sweden, Can I see you already? I don't know. I've been saying hi to everybody. I did? Okay. I'm a little drunk. No. <laughs>
this officer, he grabbed to the car with his gun drawn in her face to a 65-year-old black woman. What sense does that make? So fuck your police, fuck your president, and fuck what you stand for. It's all based on lies. You're trying to make a distraction against immigrants who, for the majority of them, have done nothing but build this country up and do all of the jobs that your people would never do. I would never catch your people scrubbing a toilet. But you know what? An immigrant will do it happily and take care of their family. So get it to start together. And if you really care if America being first, show that. Because this bullshit that you're about right now is not showing that. Silence and surrender. If you do nothing, if you say nothing, you're just as much a piece of shit as these motherfuckers out here. Good one. I like that. Excuse me, I asked for no one. Right, racism! Racism must go! That's actually a funny sign over there when he says, excuse me, I asked for no America! <laughs> you do not stand for the American people! The American people are black, brown, yellow, and every other color in the book. Do you have a problem with that? Then go back to where you come from. Europe is waiting for you. This is America goes to the black and brown people. All people must be treated with fairness, equal, and uh, full justice. This is not the white man's land. This is the land of the brown and black and yellow and every other color of people who are living in its courts. So Johnny Gibson, be gone with your racist self, because that's all you are. You're phony, you're fake, and so is Donald Trump. Can you open it for me then? Hey there. You want some? Back to where I came. What you hear and who you meet. What you mean? Here's the mic. I'm giving you 20 seconds of my time for you to come over here. How much you want to bet she gives more than 20 seconds? Let's count. Seconds are up. Is hate. Their intention is to take our people that we cherish and to kick us out. Their intention is to send our brown brothers and sisters back to countries that they know nothing about. Their intention is to not go after the other undocumented people here, the Irish, the Russians, the Croatians. Because we love Russia. It's not brown and black. This guys not see. are just as high as everybody else. 
could use some hair, but nice outfit. But why are we not deporting men like animals? Why are we sending them back to their world-ridden countries? Because that kid is not black or brown or violent. So when you say to you that you need to get your child checked and get See, real... See, I want to focus on some of their signs, but it's hard for them to come up with original stuff. Like this one way over here. This sign right here is obviously uh, old stuff. Words we've seen over and over again all year long, all year last year. Well, some of it last year. Trump, Pence, no. The same party that used to say stop the no party is now blasting no. My grandma to this day, my one of my grandmas, still has a sticker on her refrigerator. A Democrat bumper sticker on a refrigerator that says stop the no party, referring to stop the Republican party because they just keep saying no to everything that Obama wanted to do. The same people now are blasting no. Flip-flop. God, I hate flip-flops. But this, this, these people over here, these people actually came up with some pretty funny signs. I like this. This one right here. Excuse me. I asked for no eyes. That was pretty good. That's fine. Give you props if you can be pretty, if you can, if you can humor me. Who's that guy? Tell us, what does that mean to you? You can come and borrow my big megaphone because our little one's not doing it. But what is it to you when you say, Both of them are dressed pretty nice. What does that mean to you? I should go over and shake their hands. She's still talking about that 20 seconds. There's no intelligent language that I've heard. Oh, there's somebody up there. No, no, no. You know 